The year 2022 has been warned that there will be an asteroid hitting the Earth. But what is the truth? Has the end of the world come? Let's find out with us now. Warning, asteroid may hit Earth in 2022. The US Space Agency, NASA, defines meteorites as rocks in space that are smaller than planets, sometimes called asteroids. Some call them space junk, or leftover pieces from the formation of the solar system. This is a natural object from outer space and impacts the Earth's surface. When it's in space, it is called a vein. When meteorites from outer space fall into the Earth's atmosphere, the compressive pressure causes the meteorite to heat up and emit light, possibly burning the outer layer. Millions of asteroids are orbiting the Sun, of which about 750,000 are dwelling in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The width of the meteorite can be up to hundreds of kilometers. When a meteorite falls from outer space into the Earth's atmosphere, under the pressure of a compressive pressure, it will heat up, emit light and can ignite the outer layer. According to statistics from the European Space Agency, the ESA, about 50 tons of material fall to Earth every day. Best of all, meteorites don't have atmospheres, but many are large enough to generate gravity. In fact, some larger meteorites own one or two satellites. Sometimes two meteors of similar size orbit each other and form a binary system. Scientists are very interested in meteorites because they can provide a lot of information about the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. One of the ways to study asteroids is to observe them as they come close to the Earth. They are divided into two types, iron meteorites and stony meteorites. Iron makes up about 90% of the content of iron meteorites while stony meteorites are made up of oxygen, iron, silicon, magnesium, and many other elements. Rocky meteorites that have not been altered by the melting or transformation of a parent meteorite are known as chrondites. Usually, when a meteorite rushes and hits the surface of a planet or asteroid, it leaves on the surface of that planet traces of impact. We can clearly see NASA's images from space of pits of moon because there is no wind here or on Mars. Meteorites are named after the place where they are found, usually a city town or somewhere in terms of geography. In the case of multiple meteorites found in the same place, they add characters or numbers after the name. According to statistics of scientists, meteorites from South According to statistics of scientists, meteorites with sizes from 10 to 100 take decades, even tens of thousands of years to occur once. As for meteorites as large as 1 kilometer, it can happen every 200 years. But the probability is not high only about 0.0001%. As for meteorites with a diameter as large as 10 kilometers, it takes about 10 million years or even 100 million years to occur just once. There are many places in the world where traces of meteorite impacts have been found. As of mid-2006, there are about 1,050 meteorite cycles from these impacts and there are about 31,000 recorded meteorites. In 2022, NASA warned that an asteroid could hit the Earth. A meteorite named 2009 JF-1 entered NASA's Sentry Tracking System. The system continuously scans the most up-to-date meteorite catalogue to filter for potential collisions with Earth within the next 100 years. Sentry is operated by the Center for Research on Near-Earth Objects, CNSEOS, of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. 2009 JF-1's probably of hitting Earth is a quarter. 166 when it passes. 
on May 6, 2022. According to the European Space Agency, it has an estimated meters, only slightly larger than a double-decker bus in the UK. Despite the small risk of a collision, the 2009 GF-1 will not cause too much damage. According to NASA, meteors smaller than 25 meters usually burn up when passing through the Earth's atmosphere and there is almost no associated damage. The 2009 JF-1 meteorite was discovered in 2009. Both the ESA and NASA have been closely monitoring the object since then. According to researcher Luca Conversi of the ESA's Center for the Coordination of Near-Earth Objects, CNEOS can calculate the orbits of objects flying close to our planet with high accuracy, thereby predicting the probability of impact, time and location. It is known that meteorites smaller than 10 meters in size when falling to the Earth do not cause serious problems, but its large size can have serious consequences. Affecting an area and even destroying the life of a large area. It is very rare for a meteorite to not burn out and fall to the Earth. Large, intact meteorites are of very high value. Each meteorite is unique, so they are often purchased for collectibles. In addition, containing valuable scientific information for researchers is also a contributing factor to making them so expensive. Scientists often study meteorites to learn about the origin of the solar system, or signs of water on the planets. Besides size, provenance, the importance of scientific information, and the story behind the discovery of meteorites also contributes to their value. Meteorite fragments originating from Mars on the Moon are very rare, and so they are always highly attractive. Today's video ends here. Hopefully this video will help you understand more about solar storms. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the article to support us. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.